I thought it was a beautiful shoot. I thought she looked amazing, and I think bravo for somebody being the person that they truly are. I think it's fantastic. I mean, everybody should be happy, and I think it's nothing makes me happier than somebody finding their peace like that. I, I think it's, I just, I'm so happy for, for Caitlin. I'm embarrassed to say that not only do I live on a little island miles away from anywhere, I also live in a little island. I, I don't really follow any of this stuff. They just showed me the cover. I was like, who's that? I don't, I don't, I don't really know what to say other than good, good on everyone. <laughs> I just think that it's incredible that Caitlyn, I think still Bruce, and then eventually Caitlyn Jenner, through the platform of reality television, which is quite often and for very many good reasons, uh, not given very much respect in the popular culture, is going to have the platform to show this intensely personal, frightening journey that he and eventually she is on, and to use the platform that the Kardashians have built to bring this civil rights issue to the forefront of popular culture over the course of the next six, eight, 10, 12 months, however long the story runs. I think that that's amazing. I was like, oh my God, you go girl. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, I mean, to, to a certain extent, I mean, with all the stuff that was going on around the Dinosaur, you know, my wife and I tuned in and, you know, just very proud. It's very courageous. I followed the story and I've talked to Bruce um, before he made the transition and he was, he's one of my heroes. I mean, he's just like, you know, all actors are frustrated athletes and he was one of the greatest athletes of all time. I mean, he was so in touch with his male side. Now he's really in touch with his feminine side. So bless him.